Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to study for your Salesforce Certified Administrator exam. I passed my admin exam back in June of 2022 and I'm going to offer how I studied for my exam to be able to pass it on the first try and then look at some, look at some other resources that are available that I wish I would have used as well. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have new Salesforce content coming out each week. And if you find this video informative, make sure to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps for the YouTube algorithm. And we're going to go ahead and jump into this thing. Some of the top ways I would recommend studying for the Salesforce admin exam is first, focus on force. So what is Focus on Force? So Focus on Force is a study platform. They offer many different certifications to study for within Salesforce. They were recently bought by um, K2, um, which is a online learning platform. They offer other certifications and um, study guides for other platforms outside of Salesforce. But Focus on Force is specifically for Salesforce. So just for example, I'm logged into my account and I still have my admin um, access and my platform app builder access because you, when you purchase it, you get it for one year and my access will run out in April for my admin exam. But there's a bunch of different ones you can purchase as you see admin, advanced admin, app builder, but even into like the Java script developer one platform developer two sharing and visibility architect even the new business analyst certification they have a study guide for they do not have the um associate salesforce associate exam on here but um it is in progress and i know they'll add it but this is a great place to study for your admin exam um, we'll go ahead and into the account i'm not going to show any like questions or some of their study material but i can kind of give you a little insight into it so these the way they break it down is they have topic exams here and you can go in and take practice exam you can see i didn't do well on the configuration and setup that my average there uh, my last one i scored 74 percent you see object manager scoring 94 but if you scroll down here at the bottom they have six sets of practice exams they are all 60 questions and they vary in difficulty. Some are more focused maybe on objects and flow. Others maybe more data and analytics management focused. And then my favorite option is this question bank they offer. So whenever you do the question bank, it, t it randomizes your exam. So from it could come from any exam. And some of the questions I found aren't on any of this. And it really can throw you off and give you some tricky questions that you should consider. And I absolutely found the question bank very useful. Loved it. Looking in here, this is what the topics look like. Um, so there's two sections whenever you're in here. You got your study guide and practice exams when you purchase the course. So when you scroll down, maybe you want to look at the configuration and setup. And then they offer videos of each section so you can watch them if you'd like. Now second, what I would recommend doing is going into the trailhead, the trail mix for the Salesforce admin credential. I would recommend using the trailhead trail mix for covering topics that you're struggling with. So if you're having a hard time remembering um, how objects are interacting with each other, um, or maybe you don't know how to create a permission set, you can search within trailhead for um, modules to cover that and you can get practice. Like, you know, Getting that hands-on experience is really crucial to learning those topics, at least for me, um, that I don't understand just from looking at slides. So the way I'd studied is I would jot down anything that I'm having trouble with, and then I would go into the trailhead and specifically search for that module. And then in my free time, I would come in and just start taking these. As you can see, a lot of these I've already completed back in November of last year when I was kind of familiar my familiarizing myself with some of the Salesforce information. So that's how I would use the trailhead. It's a great resource and it's free offered by Salesforce. Third, Salesforce does offer an administrator practice test. Now, this is on the trailhead as well. So this test is not scored, but they charge you. 
they do charge you. I don't completely agree with them charging for a practice test, but that is just my opinion. It doesn't really matter. But what is nice about this, and I kind of wish I would have done this, you're going to do it on the Web Assessor platform. In my experience with the Web Assessor platform, it's outdated and it's not my favorite thing in the world. And I probably guarantee you anybody that's taken an exam through Salesforce will say the same thing. Um, I would highly consider taking this exam. It's going to be 60 multiple choice questions, 90 minutes. It's not proctored, $20. And you get your section level percentage scores provided immediately after you submit the exam. And this is provided by Salesforce. Web Assessor is just who they partner with to proctor their exams. But this one's unproctored. And it will give you, it'll be just like taking the exam the day you're going to sit down and take it. And that platform, it takes a little getting used to. And I would highly recommend this. And I kind of wish I would have done it. Um, as well. So take a look at that and see if that's a good option for you. And then the last thing I would recommend is if you go to the certified admin page on Trailhead, they actually have an interactive practice test for a Salesforce certified administrator exam. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It says, hey, welcome to the Trailhead practice test for the admin exam. And it'll kind of give you the opportunity to experience the format and level of question. You have timed and untimed. So I'm just going to hit untimed here and you can actually see, you know, which configuration action should be performed to ensure every case gets assigned to a valid owner and you get four choices. Now, when you take your exam, it is going to look just like this. It's going to be 60 questions. So you're going to want to get used to this type of format of question. Focus on force questions are just like this. So I love that, but this is a nice free resource that you can use um, to study for your admin exam. Now there's a lot of other resources, um, out there on the web that you can purchase or some are free to study for the admin exam. Personally, I haven't used anything outside of what I showed you. I would recommend being careful looking at non Salesforce approved study material, but focus on force is a great option. Um, and I would highly recommend it because I've used it for both of my exams, but I also coupled it with using Salesforce approved study material. So I wish everyone the best of luck if you're studying for your admin exam. If you studied and passed it, leave a comment down below. But I hope you found this video informative. If you did, leave a like and I will see you in the next video.